Hello everyone, welcome back to Pifar Lab and this is a full stack Laravel videos e-commerce development tutorial series and if you are not subscribed to this channel please go ahead and subscribe and share the videos as much as you can. Now in this video I will teach you something very interesting which you might not have uh, thought before. Now let's see what it is. Okay, So we are going to see what is the problem with the current database design for the product details page. Okay, So as you can see here, this is a product details page and just to show this version of this page, we will require, need to, we will need to retrieve the uh, product variations with its images and then we have to show all these images and every information including these specifications and other specifications needs to be retrieved. Okay, So whatever the information is uh, record for this product details to be shown we need to uh, retrieve it so for example just to uh, just to get the images from the database based on a particular product using its log or id unique identity power we need to travel through the four tables joining and that's going to be really really complicated for the sql server but yes, SQL can do uh, join so efficiently, but you know, as you know, we actually uh, will be using Oracle, okay, and uh, so it might be slower. So how can we uh, optimize this read for the uh, for the project details page? Now let's see how we do it. Now particularly this per, uh, this kind of problem is done using uh, uh, Redis. I will be showing it in the Redis actually. I will uh, implement it in Redis level. But in case if you don't want to use Redis, how do you solve it? So I will show it uh, in the MySQL level and then you can actually implement in MySQL or in the Redis uh, no matter. But Redis will be, uh, will be really faster because it's an in-memory uh, database. And if you still don't want to use the Redis for some reasons, then yeah, SQL Server uh, database is completely fine, completely perfect. Okay? Now let's move on and show. Uh, let me show you what we are going to do. Okay. So we will take another table and we will call it uh, product cache or whatever you call it. So and then from that uh, from that table we will store some. We don't need to store some ID here actually, but you still can uh, store an ID here. Uh, that doesn't really matter for the time being. And you need you can um, for today this I will uh, since this product it will be retrieved using its slug and not the ID actually so we need to store the slug here but yeah we can um, we can uh, store the uh, slug it's, it's not an integer it's just uh, maybe string yes and it's unique actually so let's move on and then uh, here we will we can have a product ID okay so product ID and we're not going to make any relationships okay and then this is the important part then we have we need the data okay so what is this data data would be just like a text and stringified text that's all okay so what does that mean okay let's say for this product details page we require to bring in the um, Product variations, and then we need to call product variation options filters, and then we need to bring images uh, through a pivot table and call the gallery. So let's say you have a um, we we have a data structure uh, with nested data with elegant relationships. Then we uh, we get this data. Okay, let's say this one query or this one uh, controller method will takes a little bit to. Um, 500 to one uh, one second actually 500 to milliseconds to 1000 milliseconds or maybe in, um, even bigger but let's assume it will take uh, 500 to 100 1000 milliseconds but what happens if we do the read optimization so what is the read optimization here actually read optimization is that when we add a new product let's see the read versus write time okay let me open something new here in the text editor so here what is the read versus write okay read versus write so this product will be updated or uploaded by the admin panel okay by the admin so what is the key uh, in best case scenario your uh, read will be n versus write will be one okay so most of the time you will be writing these items or updating this item only one so when we uh, so the algorithm will become when you upload a product or edit a product okay we then after finishing it okay after finishing it 
we then run a query or run a, a uh, we then actually we then hit a route that will uh, retrieve all the information to show the data in products details page once you get the data okay once you get the data you actually store all the data in stringify format or whatever format in the cache table okay in this table so as soon as the admin upload the product or edit the product we run a background call background access calls after completing this one so after completing this one we run a background access call and that call will retrieve uh, one it will it will be run only once okay so each time you update it each time you update any of this product related information okay any of this product related information you update it or upload it we will run a background access call to the server and this server will uh, actually return the real query okay the return will uh, it will hit the real query at least once for example it will uh, call the server like uh, give me products with uh, product options with options dot option value with options dot images option dot gallery so all this complex query will happen only once when admin edit or upload the product so as soon as admin upload or edit we run this query and this query will get us all this data related to that product only and we store the data in a very stringified format as if everything is already loaded so when a user visit to this page instead of hitting the product page instead of hitting any of these tables we just hit this table only so we just do give me product which where slug equal sorry give me data where slug equal slug okay then we bring get this data and we will return this data okay perfectly fine and we always get the new fresh data because right time for this product is only one actually okay in the best case scenario in worst case scenario few times maybe you want to update the product few times but normally no one updates products so frequently okay but yes what happens to your stock okay so that's why we have a product id which uh, if you want to bring in stock a fresh every time let's say user buy something uh, uh, the product becomes lower and lower admin add more uh, stock in it so this is much more variable stuff okay so if it is a variable stuff what you need to do is that you need to, you can make a relationship with that table okay or you can anytime someone buy you can update uh, you can do this same hitting process again okay so you can choose what to do it okay if it is so much frequently changing data or just occasional changing data okay so you need to figure out how frequently your data is getting changed so you need to take care of all those calculations okay so this way your read is heavily optimized your read is extremely simpler okay but your write time will have a little bit complexity but write is only uh, happening only once so uh, if you don't understand what is read versus write then knock me and i will try to explain it a little bit better but i hope after this tutorial uh, you uh, the write and read time is uh, clear to you okay so with this database design architecture we are we have simplified uh, simplified the uh, read optimization for product details page okay and in other video we should optimize it here uh, this one maybe but if we need we can optimize that as well okay so thank you guys for watching as you can see this is a premium enterprise uh, enterprise grid uh, application development tutorial series so i'm trying to uh, give my 100% uh, effort as much as i can so if you want to support us you can become a premium member and actually uh, uh, can pay as much as you can as much as you can afford and become a premium member thank you guys for have a nice time take care